And uh, this is the game jam for the Yogscast game jam. Um, or me make, making a game for the Yogscast game jam. Um, we are very, very limited on time, so we need to get going, going, going. First thing we need to do is fix the ball pit here. Okay, so what we need to do is go ahead and let's do um, just a blank empty. I'm gonna call this uh, collider death. Add a box collider to it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move this over and down, and then we're just gonna make it larger. Uh, this way, and larger this way. I guess we can make it a little bit larger this way. It's gonna harm it. Okay, that works. And we gotta make that into a trigger. Now let's just move that this way a little bit more, just that way the entire pit's covered. Okay. And this is the one that's going to have it, so let's go ahead and create another empty game object. And this one can be right here. Sorry. I want it up that high. Gray box. Respawn. One. So that'll be the place that they respawn if they happen to fall in that pit. Next, what we need to do is copy and paste that. And move this over to where? Is that the only place you can die? Yes, it is, because we removed that other part. Okay, so we can just delete that. Uh, one thing we did want to do though was change this part here of the level so it's level. Uh. However, I think if we just grab this. And this. There we go. So this one here needs to somehow come down a bit more. I think it's to do with this. There we go. And have to do with that, let's do with this. Always pressing their own buttons.
I have an idea. Try to smooth this all out. Okay, looking good, looking good. New new inside. Snow inside of the purple and the red though. We need to pull them down. The back part. Here. Should be like this part here. And how does that look? I don't know, I can't see it. Okay. A little bit better, but we still need to pull it down a bit more over here, I think. That looks fine. No, we're not. No, we are. Oh no, this is silly. Waste of my time. I do apologize about my neighbors playing fetch. I don't understand. I don't know why they think it's the appropriate thing to do in their apartment. Okay, there we go. I just want to make sure, because I knew you could get out through here. I didn't want you to actually be able to escape. <laughs> okay, so. That's good, that's good, that's good. Now we need to do a script. Um, call it... Uh, eh, respawn. Okay, let's just bounce off. Go ahead and select this. Go ahead and go down and enter. This is not needed. We need a game object. Sorry, public game object. And then we want to call it uh, player. Uh, player, oh, sorry, public game object, uh, respawn point, player dot transform dot position equals respawn Point, don't transform dot position and player dot transform dot rotation equals respawn 
transform dot transform dot rotation. All right. So this will simply go. If it touches this, put it back there. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put that on the collider diff. Um, respawn, and then we want to have the respawn point being this and the player being my character. So now if my character hits that, it'll take it back and throw it where the respawn point is. Which I don't think is actually facing the right direction right now either. Eight or nine. Okay, so now if the player lands on there, it should take him back. Here's my character, let's move him over. I mean, not that far. Down. Over. Up. Over. Should be inside the level here. Right. So we fall down and we respawn. Okay. One thing though we need it to do is we have an audio source on this. Audio listener. Oh, which would be the main camera. Okay, so we need an audio source on the I guess yeah main camera audio source and then we want to give it the Christmas village music I uh, want to loop that there there's our music and then add another audio list or source. This has nothing right now. What we want to do is go into the script here, add in a public game object. Actually, we're going to put it on the player. No, we only have the one audio source. My character source public audio um fail public uh, audio source yeah. is uh, player sound uh, player sound and dot fail no dot clip fail or equals fail. And then player sound I'll play. Okay, so this will now play a fail sound when you die. Technically. Also, one thing we want to do is this Christmas music on uh, the main camera. Um, The like point three four eight. We don't, we don't want it to be overpowered. Okay. No. <laughs> that would help. You need to assign the different things to the different things. Okay, so we got the audio source, which is the player. 
in the clip, which would be the fail sound. I went online and grabbed these for free off of uh, free sounds. <laughs> the music's from YouTube Audio Library. Yeah, that works. Um. Mm, bad bell? Just thinking maybe if we have like a Christmas. Mm. We'll do a twinkle. That's not a twinkle. That's not playing yet. Uh, that's definitely not a twinkle. Definitely not. That is. Um, so I'm just getting a file here. Oh, sorry. Twinkle. Format MP3, 192, okay, convert. Control X, and where is the assets? Audio, paste. Go with the twinkle instead. That sounds better, eh? Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. Uh, what we need to do now is go into the player controller thing here. We need to go in and add a public audio source player sound public. Uh, audio clip. Sorry, audio clip. Not working. Audio clip. Oh, I need a capital. Um, squish. Uh, public audio clip. Um, ice break. Okay, player sound uh, clip equals um squish player sound. Player sound dot play. Sorry. We need the semicolon. So when it squishes the player, do this. All good. Um oh. Public audio clip and uh, jump. Where's the uh, key input here? Uh. 
Um, okay, here we go. Well, yeah, I know it's gotta be here somewhere. We got the player sound the clip equals jump. Player sound dot play. Okay, so if you jump, place the jump. If you get squished, he does that. If he does this, it will not be an ice break yet. Because these two go with the uh, right door script. And what we need to do is go ahead and player sound dot clip equals ice break um, player sound dot play. Okay, so that'll now anytime the ice breaks. Um, let's go ahead into this. Perfect. I was hoping that would work. Um, my character is the player sound, and the ice break is the ice break. Okay. Um, then we need the jump in that, so that's not my character, right? Does the player sound, and then we got the squish. And the jump. All right. So now we should have a squish jump. Um, sorry. Got our squish jump, twinkle, ice break. Don't want to finish yet. Fail we don't need. We're using the twinkle instead. Uh, I got the collect, which we need to still put something in for to collect. Um, shit, we only got an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so next thing we need to do, now that that's all done. Um... is we need to create a menu. So what we're going to do is go ahead and create a UI uh, image so we're going to have the game down here so that way we can see what it actually looks like. Uh, zero and zero. Uh, we want this to be what, like six thousand by six thousand. We just want to fill the whole bloody page. Okay, and um, make it green. Uh, so I'm really not liking that being there. Let's add a text. Um, I did add in a new font for us, Grinched. And let's call this um, Mr. EA Kings. Oh, sorry. 
my keyboard is going back to French or whatever. Something that's not a, what I use. Things castle. Uh, snow run. Sorry, we want to make this like 320 by 60. Uh, let's center this. And increase the font size. Um, sorry, let's just pull this out by itself. Yeah. Okay. As you can see, not looking very good right now. I'm going to move this over, unfortunately, to a screen you cannot see. Or, if we... Do something like this. Well, this sort of works. Okay, so we got our Mystery A King Snow Run. Now, this is way too low. So let's go ahead and move this on. Yep. Font. It, black is not the best here. Um, let's go with maybe white or red. Let's go with the nice red there. Uh, let's go ahead and add a shadow to it. We'll make this nice and dark black. Or should we make it white? Let's make it white. Okay, one, one, one. Let's go ahead and add another component, which is shadow, which will be white, all the way white. We'll do that with that one too, right? And we're going to say negative one, one. Okay, that just gives us a little like outline there. Um, And we'll just uh, add a button, I guess. Text here, you can say, play. And let's change it to grid. Want to increase the size of the font here and change it to white. Uh, then we want to go to the button here and we want to change the shape of that because that's not looking very good. All right, and then the play here can get larger. And we can add a exclamation. Oh. Play. All right, let's take that button and move it on down. So we need actually the. Oh, actually, we don't need to do it that way. We can just do it this way. <coughs> And then for this here, let's go ahead and increase its size a bit more. Uh, let's go what, 120. That should allow this. There we go. Go. Okay, that's good enough for now. What we need to do is go ahead and add in some code so we can actually have it work. So, what we need to do is create a menu controller here. So, let's go ahead and create an empty. Menu. 
Go ahead and go to the scripts and add a script. Let's do a short script. Menu. Let's go ahead and open it. Uh, and go public uh, game object uh, menu. Menu object. Sorry, can't, can't be called menu again. And uh, public uh, void click button. Uh, menu of uh, set active false. Okay, so it's a simple thing. Click the button, we're gonna set it false. So let's go ahead with the menu here. Let's go ahead and throw this onto there. Game object being the menu would be the canvas. Canvas here needs then the button to then read onto the menu. And so on click button, this function runs, which makes this disappear. So we hit play. We'll have the menu up. Sorry. Maximize this so we can actually see it. Hit play, and then we're in. Okay. Um. Sorry, I just got thinking of something stupid. Public bool. Not public. Public bool. Ah, uh, plank. Well, nothing happens unless we're playing, right? So we do need something in here which goes. Uh, what would be the easiest one to look at here? Snowball. When the button gets pressed, we also need to go ahead here and go playing. Equals true. Mm. That's why it doesn't need this, because we're not calling a function, we're just telling it you set a, a variable. Alright, so that will work for that. We've got one hour and four minutes left. Um, playing is equal to true. Um, next we need to go ahead, I would say that. Um, let's get rid of this menu right now. It's working for what we need. Next, we need to create the next canvas. Uh, 
It's gonna be um, string info uh, UI. We want a text. It's gonna be timer. Um, Five zero zero. Um, let's go with the white. No, not a white. We'll go with the red. It's centered. Um, trying to increase the size a bit here. Well, let's put it right at the. Uh, put it at the top of the screen. Or, no, let's put it in the bottom right. Yes, I could do the anchoring, but sometimes that doesn't work out. And I want to make sure it works out. That's right, I just want to make sure that that is in the right spot, which it's not. Uh, 300 by 200. Oh, shit. That's what I just got thinking of. This player has not been set up for the proper resolution yet. Yeah. Okay, I gotta take a look at this UI again, unfortunately. Um, timer inspector. I'm just trying to put it in there. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, sorry. That's what I was doing there. Was just making that going the right spot here. Um, canvas though it might be messed up. No, no, no that, that looks fine. Okay. Does well, my mouse stopped working all of a sudden? It's like the worst time. Kind of pressed for it. Okay, well, let me pull that down any. Okay. What else do we need to do here? Um, we got to set up the timer. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to be a stinker here and go to my last game jam. And let's go ahead and open this with Notepad.
Okay, so that's essentially what I want. I'm going to need this inside of here with a new script. Uh, uh, game timer. So the game timer. We need to build them up still. Oh, yeah, this can be hard. Alright, so what we need to do is declare this, so public game object or bool games game started. And we need a timer and a timer left. So, uh, public bool or float uh, timer or time left public text. No oh, wait, that's not gonna work. We need to go uh, using Unity. Engine dot UI public text timer Oh, capital L. Okay, so what this is going to do is change the timer so it says properly the time. Um, let's go ahead and save that. Okay, so what are we saying? Uh, 60 times 5 is... 6 times 5 is 300. Okay, and then the timer would be this text. That's true. We're saying... Here, find object of... Game timer dot uh, game started 
equals true. Okay, so that will allow the timer to start once the actual game is started. It'll give it a five minute timer that counts down. Um, unfortunately, it's going to change the color of the text to red. I think. Why are we frozen? I know exactly why. Plain equals true. While making it equal true. So what's going on here? Let's move this over. Yeah, you won't be able to see what's going on in the game. They will tell you. Oh. Alright, play. Oh, nice place. Oh, yeah, that's why. There was no menu. Oh, it was all messed up because it's such so a this. Why isn't my mouse working really? Need to change the sensitivity of the mouse here. Uh, on the level. Sorry. All right, I like that. Uh, 50 minutes to go. We got a timer now going. Um, what we need is an endpoint. Um, where are we in the world? It can't just move me to something closer. <laughs> All right. So that 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 that. Jump across here, go through the maze, going up through here to the other ball fall, and then we're calling this to finish. So let's go ahead and create another empty game object. Finish. Box collider. Okay, then let's make the size of this. What? Lay it. With that. Must be way bigger. All right. Um, sorry, just grabbing a quick texture here. So I thought it'd be quick to do.
Uh, Unity, projects, Yogscast, assets, materials, checker. Um, then add a 3D object, a cube. Or actually, add a 3D object, a plane. Sorry, I just want the plane to actually be somewhat on the finish line. Okay. And it's not too far up in the air. Nope. Okay, materials. Create new material. Checkers. Oh, uh, that's not cool. I don't know what I want to tile. It's this one. There we go. That works. Um, shit. We're so, so screwed for time here. 45 minutes. Okay, what we need to do is create another plane, or UV, uh, campus. Finish. Um, add in an image. I don't really care what it's called. Um, and it can be green. Um, Gotta take away this canvas at the moment so we can see what I'm doing with this new canvas. Say 6,000 by 6,000, just we really don't care. We just wanted to fill in the entire area. Uh, actually, if we go ahead and put game on top of there, and you can see what we need to do is go ahead and add a UI. Text. Now, if I put this above the screen info, it's not going to make a difference, okay? What we're going to have to do is disable the screen info when you hit it. So, uh, image, text, font. Congratulations!
Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here. Centered. 600. The other. And size of font. Okay, something like that. Um, put in a white here. What we're going to do is actually remove the timer bit and change it up. to make this real simple. Okay. So what we need is a in the game manager or no on the we need another script here. Finished. Go ahead and open that up. Go public uh, game object um, UI public game object um, finish public uh, game object maybe not game object um, Sorry, we need to go into the respawn. Essentially this, but different. Because we aren't doing any of this. Uh, we are doing player sound though, actually. Um, Clip. Um, fail is going to be victory. Okay, um, so play the sound of victory, and then what we do, uh, we want to find, uh, I'm not going to try to figure this out. We're just going to go to the menu script here. Actually. Oh, 
false. And false. Second. Um, other thing we're going to have is using unity engine dot UI public text uh, victory text okay so uh, victory text equal congratulations Congratulations, um, break line unity. Sorry, is it this end or that end? Right. Plus, uh, slash. Um, plus you only took space space plus slash um plus Oh. Uh, find object. Uh, public quote or inch uh, time took time took okay so that does do it Space plus oh, I think that's what I was doing. Hey. We only took space plus um time took plus space seconds. Flash on. To complete the level. <coughs> and then time took equals the iron. Of uh, find object of type uh, game timer dot dot 
time left. This time left is now a positive, it's not actually a negative. Let's complete the level. Bang. Flute. Go on and flute me, baby. Uh, float as and two. Always mess this up. As int. Ah, one too many is. The other thing was this, that's supposed to work. Oh, yeah, it worked that time, okay. So let's save that, uh, check how long we have, 31 minutes, holy shit, we are running out of time. Um, now, this, oh my, I just, I completely blanked there. Okay, um, play the victory sound, make this not possible, make this not possible, um, do we have a UI, yeah, we got the UI, so we gotta go UI dot, uh, set active is false, I don't know if I'm gonna get done, um, time took, it's time to, uh, it says congratulations, uh, congratulations, Oh, oh, finish screen, finish screen, finish screen, yeah, finish, okay, so, finish, dot, set active, is, uh, true, okay, save, um, slash, m, uh, press, Restart. Um. Yeah, I'm totally panicking. I'll just say. Okay, press R to restart. Okay, now we need something in the sub character controller. Um, this here.
right? Okay, so on this uh, restart scene manager dot uh, load scene. That's fine, I just need to take this, move it to that one. Okay, there we go, that's good. Uh, that'll allow us to restart the scene. Um, finish is only active one. UI finish. Back to the hierarchy. So in the finish now, we can get rid of this here. Inspector for now. This finish needs the finished thing on it. The UI would be the screen info. The finish would be this finish. The audio clip would be the... Sorry. My character? The audio source? Yeah, my character. And then for this, we want victory. But I had a victory one. Uh, scripts. No, I do not. I don't know why. I and mean, this is it right here, right? Yeah.
Alright, was that the MP3 version? No. Here we go. Okay, so then we go back to the finish here and we can go finish text, which would be this here. Um file save. Time to oh, I'm sorry, level uh ball fall um screen info. Timer Game Manager. No need to be set to zero. Okay, uh let's take the character sorry, in the scene. Right, let's move them on up. Over and down a bit, back. There we go. Guess we need to have that open, don't we? Um, So that seems to be working okay. Not a big fan of what this is showing at the end for the text. Oh. Wrong type of slash. A lot will do it. Let's just double check. I'm pretty sure that's now good to go. Um, 19 minutes to go. Okay, perfecto magico. However, the screen info needs another text. Let's go ahead and look at the game here without that canvas highlighted. All right, let's switch this up here. Um, press R to restart. There we go. Um, okay, you're looking okay. Um, let's just add in another one. Uh, 
800 by 400, let's say. Uh, let's choose script. And uh, let's go with the white text. And let's move this down a bit. Christmas Eve. Yeah. Man, into the yards. Has jingle. Ram Jim. Blackbirds. Why don't you get to the top of the queue system? System as fast as you can. My controls are reversed. Uh, w backwards. S uh, A is right and B is left. Uh, control John. Okay, let's take the first bit here and move it up. Now let's move the button down a little bit. And let's maximize on play. But that's not what I did, I just maximize. This it's Christmas Eve, and you've been into the Yawks Cast Jingle Jam Gin. Everything seems backwards. Try to get to the top of the cave system as fast as you can. Controls are reversed, W-A-S. D. Right. 13 minutes. File save. Let's go ahead, take the character here, let's go to the scene. Let's move him way back to the actual start of the scene. Hmm. Sorry, got thinking. You need to come down a little bit, too. Let's test. Uh, 
turn. Let's go. My bad. One thing I want to change is this thing uh, int instead. We don't have the decimals. Oh. That was close. I had a feeling that would be broken. Okay, so that all does seem to work out. There was a couple things I wanted to change, which was the finish screen here um, being all messed up. Why is it all messed up though? And by 600, scale the screen size. Um, change the text here. I can already see the problem. Let's move that up. That's zero. Move it down a bit if anything. And uh, let's change the font size a little bit. Let's go to 90. And change the Y position. There we go. I'll save. Okay, so we have a working game now where we can actually get through the entire level and everything and everything works out. Uh, let's disable this. Um, oh wait, there was something else I wanted to change. What was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Anyone there? Having to remember what I was I said I wanted to change. Um, you jump into here, you go well, some other thing over here. You go through here, you go on up here, that's all fine, that's all fine, that's all fine. That's all fine. 
Um, shit. I'm going to have to stop the stream here um, and figure out what exactly I said.